Welcome back, Family of Light. I feel like for the end of the year and going into 2022, I thought it might be nice for all of my glorious Patreons. Thank you very much. This is a gift that I want to give to you. And this is going to be little readings for each sign. That is what's going to generally happen in love for the year of 2022. So let's start out with the Aries. All right. So what is going to happen for Aries in love for 2022? And this is the after tarot. Definitely looks like you are nice. looking into the future with someone else, thinking about someone else. Guys, what is the emperor? I'm hearing someone's up leveling. It might be you that's up leveling in 2022 and actually might be walking away from something that does not serve you, going more towards something that does. What else is going to be happening in love? For 2022. Nice. The Ten of Pentacles. Happy home and abundant life. Definitely looks like if you're waiting for someone, this could be the year here. You know, and there's the achievement card. So it looks like you might be achieving this happy home and abundant life. There's resistance and flattery. And caution. Now guys, tell me more about what this caution card is about. I'll move this stuff up here. What I'm hearing for some is be cautious of false starts. And there's also a longing. So if you have been waiting for someone to come clean on how they feel about you, and if that particular situation is for you, it's going to be something that's going to be a long time coming. So you might want to actually think about moving forward towards someone and you know, a good conclusion. Now guides, give me more information for the Aries for 2022 in love. They're saying, please know that you're not alone. Hearing something about October, meeting somebody in October, or up leveling here in October. Yeah, whoever you've been, um, kind of your heart has been stuck on them, it might be time to walk away from that and, you know, let go of the resistance of holding on to something. Because even if they were to come forward, there, I feel like there is, there's other opportunity, especially in October, for something new. But you have to be open. Okay, because if your heart's not open, then you can't accept that. Because there is definitely an opportunity here in love for you for 2022. But again, if you've been holding on to someone and they don't seem to be budging, it might be time to let that go and move towards the emperor or an empress. And let go of that resistance. All right, Aries, I hope that that was helpful. See you next time. All right, Taurus, this is your 2022 mini love reading here. For 2022, it's starting out with the Eight of Cups. Walking away from something that wasn't serving you. It looks like there was someone who you thought would be more than they actually were. I feel like you recently learned something about the person that you've been thinking about that it's been, um, 
disappointing. And it's weird. It's almost like some of you, you might be experiencing like wanting to vomit when you um, think of them. Because like whatever you found out was pretty like it was not good. So with this magician card, it looks like you're going to be able to be able to pull the rabbit out of the hat this year. Interesting that this card came out here. Actually, that one did too. So it looks to me like you're going to come to a conclusion about something. You're going to start manifesting what you really want, being really sharp and clear about it. And I feel like there is this, um, this, this energy that you're going to be carrying of, you know, I will be the one to choose my romance. You're taking on more of a, a very strong willed energy here. And then you're going to have lots of friends and celebration and lots of opportunity here. Now, give me some more information here, please. Here's the temperance card. So that's balance. That's divine timing. Now is, okay, so these two, I was gonna say, is there a person, but there's endurance and secrets. So this is a part of the secrets I feel. Now guides, give me more information about the secrets. Yeah, you're, you've been waiting for someone and you've either just found out or about to find out that they weren't what they seemed. They were holding on to some information that was pretty pertinent to, to know. And then here is the health card. So don't let this linger too long in your system. I'm not seeing... In these in this in these cards for 2020 if that there's going to be someone new but it looks like you're going to go through the ending of something have endurance and strength about it being very you know deliberate in your manifestations having fun with your friends and your family and up leveling to where you only allow certain people in anyway people of a higher vibration which is wonderful news guys anything else for the tauruses no this is a year of you up leveling and really becoming your own magician the own master of your life which is going to help you to attract someone all right i hope that was helpful I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, Gemini, this one is for you. So this is your love for 2022. What do you need to know? Tower. The Six of Swords just came out. So it looks like there was a an ending that needed to happen here. I feel like it's right at the end of this year for 2021. Going into 2022, you're going to have this Six of Swords, calmer water, being able to look into, you know, the future of what you want. So whatever you had to let go of here, truly let go of it. Whatever you've been waiting for, it, I feel like it's closing your heart down. So if you've been waiting for someone, waiting, 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 you know, look for that closure because it looks like the guides are wanting you to really go into your emotions and see what's working for you and what isn't. Here's the Knight of Wands. So it looks like you're going to be able to manifest more of what you want in 2022, especially with this Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So there's going to be wish fulfillment here. But first, you have to let go of something that isn't working for you. You know, and go into that calmer waters. Let go of that closed heart. 
open your heart and look to the future because you've got wish fulfillment and the ace of cups seems like there's lots of some of the ones that I've done so far has been lots of endings and then new beginnings so here's authority empathy and intuition so definitely use your intuition and your empathic abilities to be your own authority in love and don't let other people dictate what love for you should look like because you definitely have a new beginning in love for 2022 so keep your mind high your your sight high into this having this wish fulfillment creating the energy that you want to see and letting go of that which does not serve you at all. Guys, what else would you like to say for the Geminis? They're saying next December, things in your romantic life are going to look completely different. Completely different. So look forward to that. Completely different in a good way. So look forward to that. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. All right, Cancerians. This little mini love reading is for you for 2022. There is the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So you might even have a new love. Are you, you're, you feel like you're close to a breakthrough in love? on the tail end of 2021. You're going to realize something in early 2022 about love, what you want, how you want to get it. I feel like you've been doing a lot of work in the last part of this year and going into 2022, you just have like this completely different mindset. Like you've gotten yourself out of this self-purgatory or someone has helped you get out of it if you don't have somebody it looks like you're going to be but this person moves slowly there's the temperance card and the six of swords so know that this is going to take a little time. There's patience that needs to be involved, not only for your outer experience with your person or someone new, but with your own internal self. And the guides are saying that you, you've done everything that you can. And so kind of be gentle on yourself, but know that someone is coming towards you. For 2022 give me more information about 2022 love for the cancers there's power optimism and convention yeah I feel like with this queen of wands here you're really taking your own power you know like I was saying here with this ace of cups it's like your things are going to be stronger and different and you know you've gone through this insecurity and not knowing what you're doing and you have a lot more optimism moving into 2022 now they're saying something about march what about march march will be a particularly good year for you they don't want you to get too rigid on um, how you think things should be they want you to be open to what is presented and see how that can bring you more happiness than you were anticipating so this is going to be good know that you're protected and that love is and always will be yours we nurture you first all right, I hope that that was helpful. I'll see you next time. All right, welcome back, Leos. This is a little mini read for 2022. 
So it looks like you've been waiting for someone. But you, you know, at the same time when you're waiting, you have been up leveling. But I feel like you've been feeling a little defensive. What I'm hearing is you're feeling very tired towards the end of this year and the beginning of 2022. But the world has shown up. And this is you kind of getting your balance back, being able to experience more love for yourself. For some of you, there's been someone who's been breadcrumbing you and they want you to keep your sights open to this. And in a low rating, this is pretty fantastic. Guys, give me more information about that. They want you to be flexible and be open to end endings and new beginnings. Because what they're saying is if this person that you've been thinking about isn't showing, have yourself be open to someone else. And I feel like, you know, with this card of being kind of overweighting, getting a little um, defensive, going, okay, come and meet me. If they can't meet you, you know, carry on with your life and then look. Not bad at all. Mm, and it just keeps getting better. So there is the sun card, the happiest card in the deck. So if you want to avoid staying in the stalemate that I feel that you're in, you know, it causing you this, go into more of an open healing for yourself because there's love coming in. Now, guides, tell me percentage-wise, how many people who are waiting for their person, okay, 30% 30, 30 of the people who are waiting are going to be listening to this their person will come through. So just make sure that you're not waiting around and hoping that this person will come. Because they're saying that this is avoidable. And yeah, I think whatever you're experiencing now is affecting your health. There's rebellion, protection, and power. Yeah, taking your own power here. Rebel, and this is kind of what this person right here is kind of rebelling against the old status quo. Whatever the old status quo is, let it go. And you are protected. What else would you like to say for 2022 for the Leos? They say that there's going to be like a sharp turn in a situation in November. That it's going to be unexpected and it's going to be like thrilling. It's going to be wonderful. So remember November that something is going to shift and change. You know, like I said, like a, like a sharp turn. So, you know, continue to do that work. Don't stay in something when someone's not showing up. And that's it. I hope that was helpful, you guys. I'll see you in 2022. Okay, Virgos, this is your little mini read for 2022. Hmm. I feel like you're letting go of some burdens here. And it's kind of exhausted you, but you're also feeling very uh, rejuvenated with the growth potential of what you're financially doing. Some of you might even be meeting someone in the workplace. Or if you've already been in a work romance, something's going to change and shift. I feel like whatever you've been carrying here you're realizing that you deserve more. I feel like for some of you who you've been waiting for someone and they haven't been showing up, 
and it doesn't have anything to do with the work situation that you are going to really decide to move on and let your own authority say when is enough and with this ten of swords being able to let things lie but for the others of you who are working and you're you have like a little romance going or you have a crush at work that could turn out to be very very good and for the others of you that are kind of thinking about letting someone go because you might be discovering something about them don't have resistance to the information take it because you can jump on this affair train as well it's almost what I'm getting here which is interesting is that once you let go of what isn't serving you, you can jump on the affair train like the people who are working with someone. August is going to be a hot month for you. Someone is going to really become very, very clear about their intentions towards you in August. Yeah, could be someone returning and it could be somebody new, but it's, it's coming. It's there. Okay, guys, what else would you like to say for the Virgos? You are safe. Stay calm. Follow your heart. And when something isn't working for you, let it go because something else is coming. You know, you might even want to go and join a, a new club or something where you're being social. Don't have resistance to it. Go with the flow, okay? And I hope that that was helpful. I'll see you guys again. All right, Libras. This is a little mini reading for you for love for 2022. Looks like you've been really manifesting kind of clearing your mind as of late and you're moving more into a controlled um, fully manifested part of yourself you've been doing some good healing the guides are really pulling me to you know this energy that you're manifesting and see how it's kind of going into here so it's what I'm hearing is good manifesting skills keeping those thoughts high what you want and how you want to get it so here we go you got the sun card the happiest card in the deck you're gonna be very fulfilled this wow this is an amazing year for you for love you've got the high priestess and the magician you've got the male and the female aspects to manifest what you want, which is the sun card. And either this is you, the emperor, or you're going to be manifesting the person that you want. Very nice. I like it. Yeah, you're moving away from... Okay, so the guys are saying that whatever you experienced in 2021 was a necessary end. So you could build this for 2022. It's interesting because they're, you know, all of these cards have energy flowing through them, but it's kind of like this was the impetus that kind of grew this energy so you could create, you know, the person that you're looking for. You know, and that's raising your own vibration so you can accept that kind of love into your system. I love it. There's friendship. Restlessness. And companionship. I think in the past you were just looking for a companion, but now you, you became so restless, you realize that you want someone who you can be friends with too. 
as a lover. So you're completely up leveling in 2022. So good job on that. What else would you like to share, guides? September. There's something about September. What about September? Yeah, you're going to find new love or kindling of love with whatever you've already created. Could be an up-leveling in the situation that you're going to create earlier in the year. But you're going to have um, victory here. So congratulate yourself for what you have accomplished and move forward in 2022 in love, knowing that it's going to be good. You have all the things you have, the magician, the high priestess, the Emperor and the Sun card. And you have victory. And the Two of Cups. <laughs> so you got this. Have you know, have fun manifesting. I wish you all the best. See you next time. All right, Scorpios. It's your turn for a little mini love reading for twenty twenty two. Nice. So I feel like towards the end of 2021, you've been more optimistic and grounded about your expectations towards a relationship. And with this lover's card, I feel like you're giving someone an opportunity to do a do over or you're welcoming someone else, some lover into your midst. I feel like you've been navigating and you're going to be navigating how you truly feel. You're, I feel like your heart is a little torn. You might already, you might have two lovers going on or two love interests. What I'm hearing is you might even end up dropping the two and going for someone else. You're gonna become your own inner authority on your love and how you perceive love and how you want to get it. But there's definitely a love opportunity here with the lovers and a new start. So I think you might even surprise yourself in 2022 where you thought you were going to be in love with this one person or you were confused about two people. Like I said, you might even have a third one come in and you're just going to rock your socks off. You know, and you're going to have to make a choice. So I feel like, you know, you're going to be, <laughs> you need to um, make sure that you're up, up on your game in social events, because I feel like you're going to be, you're going to be um, very desirable and you're going to be asked to do this and asked to do that and be open to this and, you know, open to that. So, you know, keep your options open. I think you're going to see things in 2022 that you can't even fathom right now. You're like, I had no idea that that was going to happen. So you're going to reach some harmony. Yeah, you're going to need to be careful because there's a lot of people who are going to put you on a pedestal. They're going to think of you as the ultimate. Ooh, you have a steamy new year coming. <laughs> I like it. I hope that that was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right, Saggies. This one is for you. This is a little mini reading for you for love for 2022. Now you've got the tower card here. I feel like you've been, I feel, I feel like towards the end of 2021, you said lots of hard truths and you let some things go. I feel like you're feeling a little raw, but centered at the same time. You'll be planting new seeds in 2022. And to do that, you're going to need to go within. What I'm hearing is that there's new things on the horizon for you. But they want you to start out the year in solitude. 
And with this star card here, they're saying all is not lost. But some things are going to come to light in October 2022 that is going to shift your thinking completely. I think you thought and you knew that the direction that you wanted to go into. But there's going to be a lot of shifts and turns for you. There might even be, you know, really letting go of that which does not serve you. But go into this as the Queen of Wands, someone who can manifest what they want. And changing your attitude and your outlook about life. They say that that is something that is holding you back to new experiences. There's patience and discovery. So they want you to have patience with yourself and, of course, others. And there's something that you're going to discover that's going to influence you in a way that you did not see coming. You might pick up and even move is what I'm getting here. But there's devotion. There is someone who's either coming back or taking this deeper with you as being devoted. So whatever vision you've been seeing or any that you get in 2022, know that your vision is going to be very keen in the realm of love. And be devoted to yourself and have patience with yourself. All right, Saggies, I hope that that was helpful and I will see you next time. All right, Cappies, this one is for you. This is a little mini reading for 2022. Looks like you're feeling prosperous towards the end of 2021. And you're really wanting to make a solid, grounded foundation. I feel like you worked really hard in 2021. And you're sitting pretty. And you're, it's all, I almost feel like you're ready. Like there was a cycle that ended and now it's a new one here. I feel like this, there's been someone who you've been waiting for. And either you or them have been helping each other to gain a new perspective about what love and life is really about. I feel like for some of you, you might choose to possibly walk away from this person or you might be walking away from someone in 2022 because of the fighting. But there's going to be a quick turnaround here. I feel that with this new perspective, there's an up leveling. What I'm hearing is whatever you're going through with your person, it's it's kind of meant to be, and it's something that needs to be honored if that makes any sense but it's kind of like letting letting things go so it can come towards you if that makes any sense because love is going to be offered i don't necessarily see anyone new but whomever you're with things are going to They're going to become more solid, more grounded. Definitely like some truths are going to be told. You know, maybe right now you've been friend zoned. You might have actually even liking that. Because of course, if you're going to be in a relationship, you want that person to be your friend as well. Your person still is going to have some things they need to work out. But I feel like you have the wherewithal to see this through. 
And then, of course, there's going to be lots of seduction. I don't think the two of you can really stay away from each other. All right, I hope that that was helpful. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now. All right, Aquarius. This is a little mini reading for 2022. Nice. So there's the Ten of Pentacles, Happy Home and Abundant Life. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Someone who's making an offer, but it moves very slowly. Three out of four cards so far have been pentacles. So this is going to be a prosperous year. Whatever you are trying to, you know, grow, manifest, it's good. Whatever hardships you were experiencing, you know, in 2021, they're over. New perspective has been gained. A love offer. Yeah, I feel like someone's going to... I feel two different scenarios here. Someone who is... <clears throat> you're going to have someone who's already in your life that you're going to up-level with. For others of you, there is someone new coming in. Someone who you didn't see coming. Someone who moves much much at a much more of a faster pace than this other person here. But if I feel like this is two different storylines here. So if you're already seeing someone, it's going to up level. If you're not really seeing someone else, expect someone else to come and offer something. Discoveries come out a lot during this reading. With this person who moves slowly here with this Ten of Pentacles, I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is for both different storylines. But you're going to have to have patience here. I'm seeing something towards, interestingly, the 20th of September, 2022. Something is going to shift. Something's going to change. And, you know, an actual offer of up-leveling could come then. Don't let your own dramas get in the way is what I'm hearing with this one. Okay, because they're talking about the timing. You want things to happen sooner. Don't create drama unknowingly or knowingly to make things move in the direction that you want. You know, if you're an empath, keep things clean and clean your energy. Okay? Guys, anything else? Nope. I hope that that was helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. All right, Pisces. This is your mini love reading for 2022. Interesting. There's definitely an end of a cycle. You might have even broke up with someone or had a realization towards the end of 2021. But with death is rebirth. And I feel like you have this new, this feeling of renewal and victory of being able to finally say, you know, this isn't working for me anymore. It's weird. It, what the, the energy that I'm getting is almost like you've been transplanted someone else, somewhere else. Maybe you've moved, maybe you've changed friend groups, but I feel like there's this newness about how you're approaching your life. You might have even let go of addictions. Addiction could be a person. You know, addiction could be anything. But I feel like you're triumphant. Yeah, this is an ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. Yeah, I feel like you're you're definitely in a happier place than you were in 2021. You're balancing things out. You're expanding your thoughts about what's happening with you and where you want to go. Now, is there love in 2022? Might be some confusion on it. Yeah, 
you still might have some healing to do. I feel like this is going to be a year of healing and letting go. But I'm feeling like the end of, interestingly enough, December of 2022, things are going to ramp up, level up, expand into a situation where you're going to, you're, all the work that you're, you're laying groundwork for is going, you're going to be meeting someone amazing. And you're going to be having fun in the year, you know, other than with friends and family. But there's someone coming at the end of December 2022. So keep up the good work. Keep going. Keep healing. Keep expanding because you're, you're up-leveling your vibration so you can have something like this. Because a lot of people would not be able to. It's that twin flame soulmate connection. Okay. Guides anything else. Have patience with yourself. Gosh, these two cards have come out a lot. There's exaltation and influence. For those of you who might have a, you know, with this devil card, an addiction of some sort, and it could be anything, be very clear that, you know, this is the year to let go of that drama and discover something else. And put yourself on a pedestal. Put yourself on the I, I deserve, I am, I am love. Because you're really building yourself up. And the guys congratulate you for it. So keep up the good work. And it's not like you're not going to have some romance, but it's going to be nothing big until towards the end of 2022. All right, you guys, I hope that that was helpful. Keep going on that healing path and you will reap the rewards. All right, you take care.